Shout out my dog, the Tan Superman. Mm. Today we're checking out Mr. Beast's response to Chris Tyson's situation. Yeah, 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 yeah. The last 72 hours have been absolute insanity. Obviously. Which one? What's, what's like, all right. That's a bad photo. <laughs> what, 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 what's the. Chris is his old name or is it. Yeah, Ava. Chris, Chris is his Ava old name. Now. Okay. So is Ava Chris Tyson still? Is Chris still a it's, part of it, go, it goes Ava Chris Tyson. So Chris is still a part of. Her yeah. name. I, I guess so. Okay. I guess so. Obviously, the situation with Mr. B star Chris Tyson appears to be reaching its conclusion, but I do have a sneaking suspicion that things are about to get much darker for Chris. God, like I'm talking about them possibly being investigated in a legal way. In today's video, we have Mr. Beast's response to the drama, Oof. his decision about what to do with Oof. Chris in general. Jeez. We have things from Jimmy's past being dug Oof. up involving the Catch Me Outside girl. Basically, they're trying to cancel Mr. Beast at this point. We have someone else coming. I'm gonna be so real, bro. It's too, I'm it's about too to, late for that I'm, one. I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna keep it a bean. I'm gonna keep it a bean. It was just edgy. I'm gonna yeah. keep it a bean. He was just being edgy. Jimmy was being edgy. Before we get into the t with the, with the tan Superman talking about Jamari, you know you're my dog. But I say this: the one person in the world we don't want to piss off is Jimmy, cause he will kill us all. <laughs> You, that man can that man can single handedly fund a private military group. <laughs> like, oh, bro. Come on, man. Who was good friends like with the lava just character coming to life. we discussed in the last two videos, <laughs> claiming that Chris did him wrong as well back when he was still a teenager. So first, let's talk about Mr. Beast's response that came out and kind of broke the internet last night. 37.5 million views on this puppy. <sighs> Over the last few days, I've become Damn aware it. of the serious allegations of Damn. Ava Tyson's behavior online, and I am disgusted and opposed to such unacceptable acts. And I wish he would say the acts that he's talking about, but obviously for legal reasons, he probably cannot, but... I won't lie, Jimmy, we did see you looking up at that poster that was in your living room. During that time, I... Okay, now look. Wait, whose living room was that, it? That's Chris's. That's, that's Chris's living room. I'm pretty yeah. sure because I think he talked about how he had a lollycon poster. In I thought room. that was a grown-ass woman. I don't think... I, I couldn't remember. Because I know there, there was a tweet or something like that where he was talking about... He purchased Lollicon art from Shadman. Yeah, yeah. Shadman. Yeah. It is? Oh, Jesus. I have been focused on hiring an independent third party to conduct a thorough investigation to ensure I, I have all the now, facts. Okay. So Mr. Beast is turning yeah, it over to the legal team. Not that said, I've seen enough online and taken immediate action to remove Ava Ooh. from the company, my channel, and any association with Mr. Beast. I do not condone or support any of the inappropriate actions. Bro. Five dollars. He has a team of editors right now going through and editing him out of all the videos. Probably. I wouldn't be surprised. He probably has them on YouTube editing him out of all yeah. the stuff. All the thumbnails. Yep. All the yeah. all the shorts. Yep. Easily. Off the. Are we are we investigating right now? Beast gaming. Oh. In front of oh, no, 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 no! It's reacts, it's reacts, it's reacts. What I'm thinking about. I'm thinking about the reacts. Oh, not yet. I guarantee you. This is within the next couple weeks. These will be gone, especially since it's, I guarantee these mugs might be gone. Wait, 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 wait! When did Chris transition? Uh, uh, I want to say like a year ago. Two years. All the old thumbnails have already been changed. I believe. Well, can you, do you have vidIQ? You can see. You're right. You're right. I don't know which ones it is, though. I, yeah, I could have swore there was some React thumbnails with, with, with uh, Chris in it. I ain't gonna, sure. Matter of fact, hold on. Matter of fact. Just go one over the third one, like the fourth one, the third or fourth one. What are you talking about? Just one of those, one of those, just right. one of those. From here, starting with this guy who smashed the most walnuts with his elbow. Boom, boom, boom. Get weirder goes. Two world records. I, I have a list of the weirdest world records ever. All from right, the longest. Uh, can you view thumbnails? Uh, I can go here. Wait, no. This one. This one. We gotta go to view stats. 
No thumbnail changes on it yet. Okay. No thumbnail changes on it yet. The reason why I say that every other video is beef. Yeah. Every every single yeah. other every single other. So I think they are changing them. Yeah, because I could have sworn there was some react. There was. There was. It was there. There was. Because there was. Every, I didn't watch the game. And ch- I, I watched some of the react videos. And some of the, one of these was def Or they took them down. But the Chris was on some of these thumbnails. For sure. Either they been changed them. Or there 100% was Chris thumbnails on the reacts channel. For sure. So the ties have been severed. And the Chris Tyson and Mr. Beast connection is no more. I will allow the independent investigators the necessary time to conduct a comprehensive investigation and will take any further actions based on their findings. And you guys already know when it comes to Mr. Beast and his brand, he's not going to play around. I don't care if you're like his childhood friend. And to me, when he says he's going to allow these independent investigators to do their thing and then he's going to make further decisions, I think that means... That he could potentially be taking legal action against Chris and maybe even aiding people in filing some sort of criminal charges. That's just my personal speculation. I think this whole situation is going to be like that episode of Spongebob where he's trying to get that little speck off that plate. Like Mr. Beast is going to do everything in his power to make sure his reputation once again hopefully becomes squeaky clean, at least in his eyes. And I did want to cover Chris's full... He on multiple channels in multiple languages... Oh, is oh. he or did they just? He also probably rich as hell too. Cool. Rich respect for like Chris. I mean, yeah. But yeah. I couldn't remember. So I don't know if they gonna. I don't know if they gonna take them out of the thumbnails for sure. Yeah. The content itself, I don't know. Okay. Response because in my last video, only the first tweet had come out where he gave this weak ass apology and almost like made himself the victim that saying oh nuts. i'm gonna step away from my mental health and from my family like buddy your wife or former wife she needs a restraining order so he also says <laughs> i want to add i never <laughs> to anyone the person who gets brought up in these accusations lava has vocally supported that they are false uh yeah real good job chris there's no chance that he was just scared for his f-ing life right there's no chance that he was just scared to lose the biggest connection in his world right Having said that, I humbly apologize to anyone I have hurt with my unacceptable social media post, past actions, and to those who may feel betrayed by how I used to act online. To lump these two factors together to create a narrative that my behavior extended beyond bad Mm -hmm. edgy jokes is disgusting and did not happen. In the past, I have learned that my old humor is not acceptable, I cannot change who I was, but I can continue to work on myself. The thing is, Chris, it wasn't just humor. These were disgusting, diabolical things you were posting on reddit accounts oh. your personal twitter you oh, were extending wait. it offline into real that, life that said lolly yeah oh the both the well, both said something about lolly no no that was if you're asking about what that blurb was that was no 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 because I, I didn't read them why why the f would you use your vr headset for anything other than 3d probably yeah 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 accounts, your Nothing gets my knob cranking no, like some lolly. You were extending it offline into nah, the so twin. apparently Nah, twin. So apparently the person that drew that drew, drew something about Kim Star's daughter. Yeah. And, the, uh, and, yeah, yeah. and you said are as actual children. Yeah. That shit's nuts. Look, bro, I'm gonna I'm gonna be real with you. The the worst thing y'all gonna get about me out there is I say the hard R. I'm gonna be so real. And I might have downloaded a lot of illegal programs back in the day, such as After Effects. <laughs> <laughs> but he doesn't own them anymore. No, no, no. He doesn't own them anymore. I'll pay for After Effects. Now. Say, you know. um, but, <laughs> but, <laughs> but, Dobby's coming to come knocking on the door. Uh, uh, I, I support programs. <laughs> <laughs> pay for your programs, people. Yeah, you know, Use the free programs that pay for. Um, <clears throat> you know. Type you know, that's the worst thing you gonna pirate. But to, <laughs> but to, but to like Lolly enough to that buy the physical sick. art is and crazy. Have it hung up in your Have room. it hung. Poster on the wall. And here Chris actually claims that he stepped away. When in reality, we all know you got fired, big dog. You got yeah. terminated. It's like when you're at a job interview. Oh, your resume looks great, but uh what happened at your last gig? Oh, it was a uh, w- willful termination. Willful termination. What what does that mean? Sexual assault. Well, well here's where we get kid, to this guy bro. Nathan. 
who has now released his individual story with Chris, and he speaks in further detail the relationship that both he and Lava had with Chris. Chris Dyson from Mr. Beast used me and manipulated me and did very inappropriate things with me while I was about 15 years old. I was actually friends with Lava GS at the time, who is right. the main victim of Chris that everyone has been talking about these last few days, who claims he isn't a victim, but we all know he is, and we all know he probably got paid off. Not only that, but he's also under an NDA from when he worked for Mr. Beast Gaming for two years, and he tried to get me to join Mr. Beast Gaming himself, Lava. He's the one who actually sent me the contract and tried to get me to sign the NDA, at which point I ended our friendship because... I knew they were just trying to silence me. So it almost seems to me just watching this video that Lava might be possibly trying to help Chris sweep this under the rug, which would not exactly surprise me if they had this close of a relationship for several years. I honestly think what I think it is, is that uh, all the inappropriate stuff that Chris might have did with or said toward Lava and all of that stuff. I think he was just so young that he didn't see anything wrong with it. Yeah. And that now that he's that's up. is how that's how he thought about it. So now that he's an adult, that's how he thinks about it. Like, yeah, it was just jokes and nothing happened. Yeah. When in reality, yeah, this if is you something. from the outside looking in, like, yeah. this is something going yeah. on here, bro. It's like outside looking in, we can see it. Yeah. It's like being groomed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. That's it's groomed, yeah, that's basically. Sick. That's just sick, bro. Basically. Me and him were both initially involved in running Chris's Discord server, helping him uh, set up his Twitch streams and moderating them. Nate's calling me. Yeah, so apparently this is from an old Chris stream where he says that this guy was calling him. Hey, what's up? You're on stream. Uh, you, you just leaked your address. Please end your stream. This Discord server that we were a part of had about 10 people oh. in it, most of whom were miners. I'm not sure how they got in there. Other than me and Lava, he won a giveaway and Chris invited him after that. And Chris invited me after I saw one of his tweets asking for help setting up a Gary's Mod server for the 10 million subscriber Mr. Beast video. This turned into us having lots of private conversations with Chris and playing video games with him for hours on end. Okay. Now I told you guys just yesterday the games are the avenue a lot of these sickos use to speak Can to Can see children. that? Like I can't even can imagine some kid hitting me up. Hey man, wanna hop on Fortnite? Oh yeah, well, buddy, no. do I ever? We drop in tilted towers? Like a bro, bro, <laughs> that, bro, bro, niggas, niggas be, niggas be in the uh, chat. Air, you want a game? No, no. <laughs> Whoa. no. Whoa, whoa, no. Don't do viewer games. No. No. I'll do viewer. Y'all think we getting? Y'all think we getting a PDF every month for the rest of the year? I think so. I ain't gonna lie. I think we get something worse. I think something else worse is gonna come. I think something else worse is gonna come, and I think whatever that worst thing come, we like the world is fucked. Yeah, like I think it's gonna be, think it's gonna be like the devil. <laughs> like, oh shit, God, you yeah, real? Right. It's gonna be some some shit. At the end of the day, bro was a grown man. Why are you trying to be friends with so many kids? Not only Thank did you. do a lot of unpaid work for him, it's not even fun. He would pay us for. He would also frequently bring up. Topics that was definitely not appropriate to bring up around 15, 16 year olds, especially with him being like, I don't know, 20, 21 years old. He would even go as far as linking me several different corn and high videos. Oh, no. Time of me talking oh, about. no. Not These are all oh, tactics no. that creepy adults use oh, no. to slowly lure victims in. Like, oh, let me expose oh, you to this explicit stuff. Obviously, it's just beyond inappropriate. But oh, Chris, was that all an edgy joke, too? Like, I love how when people just get outed for their absolutely disgusting behavior, they're like, oh, it was a different time. I was edgy back then. Like, bro, I it's remember a, 2018, a too. It wasn't that different of a yeah, time. It wasn't. Not only that, but he had an NSFW bot in his Discord server before he made it public. So mm -hmm. when it was just a private server, uh, his little circle of winners. And he would use this NSFW ah. bot to spam different corn images. Corn what? images. Um, what? Alongside all these 15-year-olds. He would also frequently call me dad and daddy as well as the others, which I guess we all kind of just took oh. as a joke at the time. You have to think this is someone who <laughs> we looked up to at the time, we idolized, we thought was the Whoa. coolest person in the world, so they couldn't really do any wrong in Whoa. our lives. And that's the point I really wanted to drive home about the Lava character, is that I still see him getting bashed a lot online, but it's like, we can't really judge him Whoa. for the way he's acting when he has potentially been done so wrong for so many years and almost been like brainwashed. 
And the thing that really makes me sad is that these were a bunch of kids who probably thought, oh, we're living out our dream. We're getting to talk to our idol every day. We're getting to help him with his work. When in reality, Chris was just abusing their power and influence, and yes. sadly, these young kids advantage. couldn't see it. Now, here's where we get to the portion of the video where they're trying to cancel Mr. Beast. First, they were trying to connect him to that creep Shadman due to this reply. Where Shadman had posted this picture of Mr. Beast holding this blank whiteboard where, where he typed in there, Need Big T Anime GF. LOL, just random at Mr. Beast YT meme on Shad. Love it. And Mr. B says, this is all we've ever wanted, we can quit now. And don't get me wrong, it is a little strange that he says, this is all we've ever wanted, when they had that poster up in their house. But if this is Jimmy's only interaction with anything regarding that don't, Yeah, Shadow, that don't mean yeah, he knew who he was. Yeah. Yeah, Twitter reply, that don't mean he knew who I he mean, was. obviously, it's definitely not worth the cancellation. Leon Lush, who was a co-owner of that podcast, actually stepped in to try and give more context. Just wanted to chime in regarding this old podcast clip of Mr. Beast currently trending because I also happen to be in it. And I was there. So hopefully I can offer some honest perspective beyond a Twitter account farming engagement. Now, for context, this was a long time ago at the beginning of our YouTube journey when being edgy was a content strategy. Cringe in hindsight, but those were the times. Here's the first part of the clip. I mean, honestly, I am kind of tired of people using that edgy excuse, but it is what it is. Now, it's hard to hear, but after the you wouldn't put your dick in her statement, I think it's important to note he says, I wouldn't do that. She's way too young after the initial unfunny joke. Also relevant was our general demeanor at the time, as he also said this at another point in the podcast. Don't tell me manifestation isn't real because here we are almost a decade later. But I think we also have to say that comments like that, like, I don't know, I just don't really find any humor in them. Like I'm sure this dude right here might have a daughter or a son. And if somebody talked that way about them when they were 14 years old, well, he'd probably want to take a bat to their head, but I digress. The other clip going around of Jimmy is something mm -hmm. that I'd seen many times over the years, where basically he just uses a slur against gay oh. people during one of his infamous live streams. Have you seen the clip? Let's mm -hmm. go. <sighs> you shut the f up, you stupid. Oh. If it was lived, how would I call you a stupid? Exactly. Oh. Dumbass. So yeah, I guess I just don't think that either of the- <laughs> Oh! Oh! Is that oh. the F? Yes, that was an F. Yeah! Then you show- you show me that clip! Yeah! That's, yeah! That, I uh, shunted. I shunted. I didn't even listen to it. I shunted because the quote- the quote- when I saw the clip, the quote was something different. And it was- it said that he said that $10 is too much for black people. No, that's something- no, that's, that was no. also the same stream. That was just something completely yeah, different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. There was yeah, a yeah, lot of yeah, shit that was said that yeah. stream. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The video was looped. If it was looped, <laughs> how would I be able to call you? A That's crazy. How would I be able to call you? A Yo, insane. Oh, I'm probably gonna prove it right now. Still watching Mr. Beast. Come on, now. what are we doing? We talking about? You know, we ain't watch for Chris. What are we talking about? And after all of this, am I kind of looking at Mr. Beast at least a little bit sideways? I mean, I won't lie to you guys. Yes. I mean, honestly, I do hope that we get a more detailed response from Mr. Beast sometime in the future. Probably when it legally makes a little bit more sense for him to do so. But yeah, this oh, was man. Mr. Beast's response. I think that the information that we got from Lava's buddy was probably the most interesting part of this video because it just makes Chris look even worse. It's like there wasn't just one lava, there was apparently 10. Who's so yeah, we're gonna next? see where this leads. Of course, Who's I will continue next? to keep y'all updated, but as always, I do wanna thank you guys for watching today's video, dropping a like and subscribing. But as you guys know, it's been your boy, the Tan Superman. Superman. And some other Mr. Beast drama out, he needs to be covered, so I'm out. Pete, I ain't gonna lie, bro. Yeah. It, I feel like it's, it's gonna get crazier, bro. It's got the the year, bro. We in July, crazy. bro. It's not even over. Let let our birthday month be the the simplest month, bro. We don't need nothing crazy happening in August, bro. Nah, Come bro. on, bro. What we doing, bro?